changing work sites this week so it's time to redo the setup obviously the last few months after going back to work from being on long service leave for six was it six or seven months i've only been running my pouch and basically a drill nothing special because i've been going from job to job to job but now i'm going back to a full-time job uh job site which will be more than six months so it's time to get rid of the bag i have liked the actual bag itself it's good but as a system to work out of we all know that i hate just the dump bags they're just they're hard to find stuff out of and yeah it's just just not how i like it so i'm going back to this for now we have got a new veto bag uh, which is coming hopefully this week but until then we're going to bring this onto site and see what we can do this has actually been out in the weather for the last couple of months i'm surprised all this hasn't swelled you can see all the water So I'm just going to start laying everything out that I'm going to need and start loading it up. What have we got? Get all this stuff out. Alright, let's start with the drills. Yeah, we'll go top draw with that. I'm hoping it fits perfect, fits perfect. So it's fully charged, fully charged. I'm wondering if these fit, they definitely do. Don't know about that. Don't know if that's a waste of space or not. Just don't know if I bring the M12. So I've already got the Hilti. I think we might just leave it at that, eh? Bring the laser. I think that'll have to go in here. I don't really want to bang it around though. If you haven't seen this kit, you can get it at Hilti and it is the Weera Cyclops. So that's your, uh, how do you do it again? There you go. That clicks in there like that. Full ratcheting, comes with little bits. Not a bad little kit, so we'll throw that in there. Mm. Put it there for now. So we've got this one here, still running this one. It's the Alpha kit. I did a whole video on those, like a step bit, drill bit sort of thing. They are really, really good. I always have them. And then uh, one of these ones, just the normal Christmas tree bit, step bit. The Milwaukee ones are legit the best ones I've tried. No idea where they are. <laughs> I know they're floating around somewhere. I think I've consolidated them into another kit somewhere. So I'll have to run that one for now. So I can go in there. So this is like my bits and pieces kit. Um, we'll go through that, get a few bits out of there. I think we've, we've already got sockets. Good. I'll take the universal. Um, what else? Those. these in they've come in handy in the last two jobs eh? So I'm going to take this one just to fill with any screws or fixing throw that onto the side that's the Joey Jr 
They can sit there like that. Sweet, she's on. And this one. This one will go on the side. Or on the top, realistically, I'm not using that, am I? I wonder if I could put the bin on top. How's that going? Here we go. So this is the setup. I have my python locks on the side, which is what I use to lock it all up. That's the monkey bar from Packable. And then we've got the Joey Jr. on the side for that one. But that's pretty much it. I do put the strap on the side and I'll show you why. So without the strap, you can see there's a lot of play in it, which I just don't like. So it's just a preference. It is sort of a downside, but with the strap, it's a lot easier. And look, I know this isn't a typical sort of setup that someone would have on a normal electrical site. I, like quite a few others, like to have a lot of my own gear, specialty gear, just to get us out of trouble as we do a lot more than like a usual Sparky, I guess. I could be doing one of many different jobs that might require something different. So rather than relying on someone else's tools or the company's tools, which they won't have all these specialty bits and pieces, I like to bring it all, be set up, and then get the job done. Now I've got to get this into the city and see what the job entails. Wish me luck.